All right, here we go with, <clears throat> excuse me, a mini lesson on how to find stuff for money, stuff for money answers on your word problems. Here's the sample problem. 12 grapes cost 30 cents. How many grapes would you get for 15 cents? I want you to notice that we have stuff. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Let's get that on the pan now. Okay, stuff, 12 grapes for money, 30 cents. How many grapes, that's stuff again, for 15 cents. So we have stuff for money, stuff, oops, no dollar sign, stuff for money, right there. Now let's change that up and let's go to blue here. How about blue? Okay, so here, here's how we set up stuff for money problems. We're gonna write our stuff for our money, use an arrow here, stuff for money. In this problem right here, you are gonna do 12, still kind of big, 12 grapes. I put a G with it, so I remember that that's my stuff. Draw an arrow, and then write a cent sign with your 30, because you get 12 grapes for 30 cents. You need to leave a gap. Don't draw these on your paper, but leave a gap right there so that you have space. And then we're gonna do stuff right here. We don't know how much stuff we're gonna get. I'm gonna make an empty box and I'm gonna spend 15 cents on that other set of stuff, or grapes in this case. Then I'm gonna ask myself, how do I go like equal fractions from 30 to 15? In this case, I'm dividing by two. So since I divide the money by two, I divide the grapes by two. This could be multiplication in here, or it could be division. It cannot be addition or subtraction. 12 divided by two is six six grapes. So my answer to this problem is six grapes. A couple other pointers <clears throat> is that sometimes you might go from this number to this number. You might be doing 12 times something is 30. In this situation, that doesn't work. If it does work, you can multiply or divide across this way. Do the same multiplication or division across this way to get the answer to the missing number. So you can either go up and down or you can go side to side with your multiplication or division. You're not allowed to go this way or this way <clears throat> with your multiplication or division. It must be multiplication or division. Make sure you leave space in here. Make sure you draw your arrows. Give yourself plenty of room to show your work on these stuff for money, stuff for money problems.